Hello, how are you? Good to see you all for another year of Sunday School. I want to share a devotion with you today based on our lesson uh, from Genesis chapter 3 where we hear about the fall and the promise. But before we get to that, I want to share something with you. Have you ever seen these before? They're called Cracker Jacks. And if you look really closely, it says there's a prize inside. Have you ever gone to the grocery store with mom or dad? You take a quarter and you put it into one of the little machines and out comes a surprise. Uh, perhaps you get a present like a surprise egg and you wonder what's in there. Yeah, these are a little bit older, but it's kind of that same idea. You don't know what you're going to get until you open up the box. Find the prize inside. Let's take a look. This is the prize? Just a little piece of paper? I guess I fell for one of the oldest tricks in the book. Speaking of tricks, did you know that kind of like the prize inside that you hope to get and you think it'll be really great? That the devil had his way with Adam and Eve and made him fall, made them fall to his own tricks? The Bible tells us that the serpent, the devil, was more crafty than any of the other animals. And he was there to try and trick Adam and Eve and get them to fall into sin. First, he told them that he could give them all sorts of knowledge and wisdom and that they would be like God. He got them to fall into sin and to doubt God to doubt God's love for them. And the devil tricked Adam and Eve by getting them to believe his lies and his empty promises. Doesn't that happen to you and me at times? That we listen to the devil's lies? Think about it this way. Maybe you've thought that you're not good enough. Or that you can't do anything right. Have you ever told yourself that? Do you know that those aren't true? That those really are lies? Lies of the devil? The devil tries to trick you in your mind, trying to think less of yourself, trying to think that you're um, not good enough. But God tells us in the Bible that you are loved and that you're a redeemed child of God through your baptism. Think of the way that it went for Adam and Eve. The devil got Adam and Eve to fall into sin and to believe his lies and empty promises, but then what did God do for Adam and Eve? He gave them a promise of their own, one that he would never take away. He said, to the devil, I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head and you will strike his heel. Do you know who that promise is all about? That's right. God told Adam and Eve many years before he came that Jesus would be the savior of the world. And did God keep his promise? He sure did. He sent Jesus to die and take away all of your sins and mine. Every one of those times that we listen to the devil's lies and empty promises, Jesus forgives those. And do you know that Jesus gives you many promises in the Bible as well? I can't wait to study those with you here this year. Hope that you can make it back again next week and to our future family Sunday schools as well. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for being and giving us those awesome promises. Promises that you have indeed crushed the devil's head. 
and that you will help us to defeat all the lies and empty promises of the devil. The same way you were there for Adam and Eve, continue to be there for us when we're tricked and give in to those temptations of the devil. Be with us and forgive us all our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you next time.